Hi, it's Elder. Welcome to a new video in which I'm going to show you how to build a website in blocks with e-commerce functionality. So basically how to make a web shop in blocks app. And to do so, I will be using the blocks app, of course, and Equit uh, e-commerce platform because blocks is just a website builder. And in order to receive payments and uh, do all of the shopping stuff, we need to use dedicated e-commerce platform. So I have decided to use Equit for this video, but you can use any other platform you want. I have done a lot of research and in my experience, Equit is the easiest to incorporate in Blocks website because it just we just basically use one code brick and you can put the whole shop inside your Blocks website. I will just show you how to do that now. So I'm on the Equit website and of course I will leave the link to this website in the description below. And if it is the first time you visit it, you can click on get started for free and it will let you create an account. I already have one, so I will click login and I think it will automatically log me in because I have done that previously. And I haven't really used Equit for my business, so it's still getting me this getting started guides. You can see that I haven't done all of the steps. But it doesn't matter because for this video, I just want to show you how you can add products, manage them here and how to embed the store into our blocks website. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have this sidebar, there's different option, options where we can see our sales. We have the catalog and if we click here, you can see that I have a couple of products, test products uh, for my blocks templates and some other courses I have done before. And these are the digital products, but of course, in this video, I will show you how to use Equit for physical products. So we will add the physical product a little bit later. For now, let's see what else we have here. We have the marketing, so we can add different type of services like Google ads and Facebook ads and others. Then we have the sales channels, and this is the important part. I will show you how we can embed the Equit into our website using this and of course we have some design payment shipping and other important sections for business so uh, if you click on payment of course you can add some different types of uh, payments if you click on design it will allow you to change how our store looks and yes all of the design for the store is done through Equit you can see that we can change the size of the thumbnails we can change the how uh, the aspect ratio of images you can see white or square whatever we can set the default backgrounds to be uh, dark we can align the text we can for example show the buy button buy now button under the under the image or we can for example show it only on hover so there are a bunch of options here and i'm not going to go or through each of them you can see that there are lots of options we can change and after we've done that all we need to do is embed this into our website so right now i have a couple of products here you can see two products so i will go to the sales channels overview and you can see here we have a number of ways we can sell using equit we can sell in our uh, mobile applications if you have a mobile application for android or ios you can click learn more to see how you can embed the Equit store into this. We can sell on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. Of course, we can sell on the marketplaces like Amazon, eBay. But what we are interested in for this video is of course our website. And as you can see, we have a number of options here, starting with Squarespace, but we are using blocks for this video. So let's uh, go to custom website. So let's go to custom website and as you can see we have a couple of options here we have the main store location so we can click on edit here and we can put the url for store i'm not going to change it now and here as well we can change the categories we can add some categories to our store and we can add shopping bag and we can add search box for now let's just go to the first uh, step here which is the setup guide and all we need to do is click on this button, copy code to clipboard. 
So this is the code we just need to select and copy. And now I'm going to embed it into our blocks website. And I will just use one of my templates so we can save time. For example, winter template, one of the popular templates I have. And it has a number of pages, for example, services, projects. So I think uh, for this website, I want to have instead of services, I want to have shop. So what I'm going to do, I'm first of all going to change the link of the navigation to shop and I'm going to change the title of the page, shop. And of course, we're going to change the SEO title let's make it shop and url as well will be shop okay now we have shop page instead of services and let's type some text here check out our products and below here i have a number of sections we can use them maybe change some text or whatever it's not important for this video because i'm going just to embed the blocks, uh, embed the equity store here. So let's add a new block, full size or regular block. And inside here, let's type code and find the code widget. So I have added the code widget and now I can click on edit code button here or just double click on it. And you remember we copied the equity code. I will just paste it here like that. And that's it actually. So now I just need to press, uh, well, I need to go to preview to see how it looks. I will open it in the browser. And once it's loaded, you can see that we have our shop page. We can go to other pages and come back to shop. And you can see that we have the shop section embedded into our website. And what's cool about it, we can press on the product and you can see that in, we're still on the same page, but we can see all of the descriptions, all of the content we have for this product under the same shop page. So uh, how we change that? Well, let's go back to Equid. So if we go to catalog, we have our products here. So if we click edit product, we can change lots of options for this product. We can, first of all, name, uh, we can use the uh, unique number for this product we can put the description which includes the video the images uh, even tables we can just put it here and all of this information will be appearing under this image here and we can of course uh, change some attributes or for example add options so if we are to sell some shirt for example or something physical product we can add the option name here and for example for different sizes for excel s and whatever I'm not going to do that now. We can upload the files if we're using it for digital products, which is possible to do this equit. But once again, for digital products, I prefer to use other platform, which I'm going to show you in the next video. We can apply the text and shipping here just by enabling this. And there are some SEO options. We can change the SEO title and meta description. And these are important in addition to the once we have for our shop page, you can see we have our shop page here, we have SEO title and SEO description, but what we have in Equit is actually for each product. So uh, the SEO description and title for each of the products can be inputted inside Equit website. Basically, all of the, all of the management, all of the uh, pricing and taxes and shipping, all of this stuff is done on Equit website. In blocks, all you need to do is just put a little code here and it will automatically automatically change everything if you change it on Equid. So we can add related products and of course we have the buy now button here. We can change it, we can maybe add some other options here and just uh, copy this code if we want to embed this just one, one product on some of our pages. But for this video, of course, we have embedded the full store. So now let's let me actually create a new product. Like, like you see on our preview now, we have we have two products like that. Let's add another one. So I will be adding new product. 
and we can upload the image of course as you can see that uh, equity recommends us to have a number of images different types of images in use styles different angles main image uh, i will just upload one image so i will go back here i have i prepared this image here so this will be fine let's go back to safari and i will just drag the image here as you can see it uploads and while it uploading i will change the price let's say that it is 300 dollars or 299 watch and i will name this a uh, blocks watch and it will have the unique number let's say 12 it weights just about 100 grams or something here we can put the description here we can can put description and we can add some images or whatever i'm not going to do that now just let's add the future future like that okay so this is it for the general information now i will go back to attributes i don't need to, to change that options well we can add the different sizes but let's say that our product has only one size and as you can see we also have the ability to change variations which is the feature you get when you subscribe to business tire and then we have files if we want to upload something text and shipping once again we can change the uh, weight here we can change the sizes and uh, we can uh, select the number a number of shipping options right from here very easy and seo of course like i said uh, we can put the uh, seo title and description for each of our products and yeah let's say that it's all i need i will click save and now when we go back to our uh, exported already in preview website and just press uh, command r to refresh the page you can see that now we have blocks watch edit here and you can see it has a cool cool uh, hover effect and if we click on it you can see that we have this description i have added we have the add to back button and all of the other stuff you can see that we have this track orders shopping bag and sign in buttons as well which allow our users our visitors to create the accounts to save their card information card details and some shopping history so let's click add to bag and now we can see that we have added one item to the shopping bag we can go to check out and from here you can see that uh, we we can enter our email address and either use the uh, credit card or paypal checkout whatever you like and you can add more options in the payment section in our equid store so let's just quickly change the size of our images a little bit to see how it can be different so let's go back to shop so right now we have three small well uh, middle size middle size uh, thumbnails but let's make them large we can also change that here if we go to website and design here we can change it to large and let's make them landscape and well you can see that right here we can change how our product is appearing as well we can put the description under the this section or under the image below we can even make this three columns well it's all up to you so let's say that this is what we want and if we go to the shop and refresh it you can see that now it is much bigger and let's say we go back to blocks watch and you can see that all of the changes we've done inside the equid store are automatically applied to our shopping page so that's it for this video as you can see it's very easy to embed the shop into the blocks website and we were, we were using the equid to do that but you can use any other platform you want and all of them have some differences when it comes to embedding you can embed the, like separate products sometimes, you can embed the purchase button sometimes, but Equid allows you to embed the full website, this, as you can see with all of the shopping carts, login and other information. So uh, if, it, if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or need some, like you want to see some other videos about this or other topics, please leave them in the comments below. 
and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.